A chisel is a metal tool with a sharp end for shaping stone, metal, or wood. You use your hand, a hammer, or a mallet to drive it in and cut. Although chisels date back to ancient Asia, today's factories use heat-treated steel and high-tech machines to make them stay sharper, longer. A wood chisel needs to be very sharp, especially for intricate carving. Making chisels starts when they insert a 5-meter-long bar of high-carbon steel in a mechanical press. The carbon lets them heat-treat the steel to give it a long-lasting edge. But first, the press cuts the bar into 22-centimeter-long rods. The rods then go through an induction heater. In just six seconds, a magnetic field heats them up to about 1300 degrees Celsius, a temperature at which the steel can be forged. A worker sets each hot rod into a die in a forging press. The die slams down, applying 700 tons of pressure. This produces what's called a forging, a rough shaping. The die can produce as many as 60,000 forgings before it wears out. Each one goes into what's called a trimming press. Here, a die cuts out the precise shape of the chisel, with the blade on one end and the tang on the other. The tang later fits into a plastic or wooden handle, so you can comfortably grip the tool. The factory sends the excess metal out for recycling. After the chisels cool off for several hours, workers run them through another induction heating machine, this one with two coils. The first heats them to 760 degrees Celsius. Then warm water cools them down. This rapid reduction in temperature is called quenching. It's what hardens the chisels enough to be strong and stay sharp. The next coil heats them to about 370 degrees Celsius. This step is called tempering. It relieves the stresses that the quenching phase created inside the metal. Spring-loaded clamps now release the chisels from the machine, and they drop into a container to cool overnight. The next day, workers can start to polish and sharpen the chisels. That removes the metal discoloration the heat treating caused. To polish the barrels, the round area joining the blade and the tang, workers load the chisels into devices called chucks. These clamp the chisels securely by the blade as the barrels spin against a rough grit sanding wheel. After about seven seconds of sanding, the blades are ready for polishing. A powerful magnet locks them in place on a round table. It rotates, running the blades against an abrasive grinding wheel. As water cools the metal, it also applies a rust-proofing chemical to the steel. This polishing cycle takes about 20 seconds. The highly polished finish is a key selling point. Now, to sharpen the blades, a worker loads the chisels into another machine. It moves the chisels back and forth against another grinding wheel. After about five minutes of this, the blades are razor sharp. Only the last centimeter of the chisel, sloping at a 22 degree angle, is the cutting edge. This factory uses preformed extruded plastic handles for its chisels. A hot metal die with raised lettering presses and melts a colored plastic ribbon into each handle. This imprints the company logo, the model size, and a reminder to wear safety goggles. The next machine puts a steel cap on top and forces the tang inside the hole. The cap reinforces the handle against hammer blows. The tang stays put because it's actually a bit bigger than the hole it goes into. In industry lingo, an interference fit. The finished tools come off the line. Now you can have those chiseled features you always wanted. <laughs>